Microsoft has renamed Azure Active Directory to Entra, Entra ID. And here you can see the portal.azure.com. And if I click on Azure Active Directory, as I've done many times, you can see the difference between these two different sites. So let's first take a look at the traditional Azure Active Directory. First off, take a look. It says that you're going to see upcoming Azure AD rename at the bottom here. It says Microsoft Enter ID is the new name and you can click to learn more. So how do you get into Enter ID? Well, that site is also active. So if I click on users and you can see the list of all the different users I have in my Azure Active Directory and there they all are. If I go back to the root of Active Directory for my tenant, you can see all these different options on the left hand side. And there's really no organization to them, no real hierarchy. And if they want to add additional options, you're just going to have to keep scrolling down further and further. So Entra has got a little better uh, organization to it. So if you go to entra.microsoft.com, which I've done here, I've logged in with the same credentials and you can see my same users in that list. Now on the left hand side, this is where things get better. So we see we can create favorites if we'd like. I'm going to expand identity. So under identity, you see a lot of the same things that you saw under the uh, Azure Active Directory page that you just saw. And we can see billing, we can see users, devices, groups, all the different options. Now, if I decide to minimize identity, I can expand protection. So if Microsoft decides to add additional things here, which they have done, then it's not going to end up making it unwieldy to try to manage it. So I'll just go ahead and minimize that. Then you have identity governance, verifiable credentials, etc. So if you go back here, you see those same things. You see Identity governance, for example. So I'll click on identity governance and here's all the different options. It brings up a whole new page. Whereas if I click on identity governance here, it doesn't have to bring up a whole new page. You can see it just shows all the different sub menus. So I can click on dashboard and then I can go ahead and manage whatever it is I'd like to do from here. So it really is an improvement over the old Azure Active Directory. Unfortunately, they just renamed everything, which uh, I don't think is probably going to be the easiest thing to deal with. I personally am going to have to redo hundreds of videos to uh, reflect the Entra Admin Center over the old Azure Active Directory. And I'll just go ahead and keep making new videos and training people on how to use the new Admin Center.